Hello dear students, I hope all of you are well. We will continue inshallah lesson 2 that's talking about friction applications. In this lesson we will talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of the friction. So let's start and going to remember first what is the friction. Okay, we talked about that the friction force, it is always acts in the opposite direction to the direction of the motion. We said before the friction force, it is the force between two objects that touching each other and the direction of the friction force is the opposite direction of the motion. So we should to have the friction force two objects that touching each other. Also, the force is based on the friction between the two surfaces. When they touch each other, this force it is slowing down the motion. So the friction force stopping or slowing down the motion. Remember these points, please. Now we will talk about the advantages of the friction force. Number one, it is enable us to control the car during the movement. So while the driving a car there is a friction force between the wheel tire and the ground and the motion or the friction force in the opposite direction of the motion the friction is the force that op opposes the tire rubber from sliding on the road surface so that this friction avoid sliding or making this uh, tire sliding down on the ground or cannot control the car movement so this is the advantages of the friction force number two number two it is the friction is needed for lighting of a match okay so there is a friction force between the head of the match stick and the rough surface in the box of the match so there is a friction force that needed to lighting the match that generates heat and light number three friction helps us to walk and move on the ground so the friction force helping us to walk easily so it is a friction that holds your shoes to the ground and present or avoiding us from sliding down so the advantages also car brakes that are used to slow down or stop the car depend on the friction okay so when we have the brakes when we want to make the have another car in front of you and want to take a break so the friction braking is most widely used in the braking methods in the transportation or in the cars in the uh, for example trains this process uh, make us to prevent the accidents okay so the car brakes help us to stop suddenly okay if we have and anything that can hit you or there is a, a car in front of you you should stop suddenly so this help us with the friction the friction help us to control or to stop the car suddenly Now we will talk about the disadvantages of the friction force. The friction force between the moving parts okay, of the machines causes a ar rise in their temperatures so the machines will be damaged. Here we can see the internal parts of the machines when they touches each other there is a friction force we said before the friction force causing a uh, heat energy 
so when this pores are moving or touching each other okay there is a heat energy that will be generated so there is heat energy it will be rises up the temperature so after rises up the temperature this machine will be damaged due to the friction force so this is a very uh, important part for the disadvantage of the friction force now we will talk about the evaluation give reason the car movement needs friction why to control the car speed and change the car direction we said before that the car need friction force okay to control the car speed and to change the car direction number two damage of the internal parts of the machine why the damaging of the internal parts of the machine why this happened because the friction force that causes rises up of the temperature between the internal parts of the machines thank you for watching this video and i hope this lesson it will be easy thank you goodbye